What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I finally got my hands on the new MiCool KM9 Android TV box. Now this box is running the new S905 X2 CPU with 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. We are running the Android TV OS version Oreo, not sure if it's official but we shall soon find out. And in the box you will find a user manual, a UK power adapter, HDMI cable and a Bluetooth remote control which supports voice search functions. Now the box itself is made from a matte finish with the Android TV logo on top. Now at the front we have LED lights which change colour to give you different statuses for Wi-Fi etc. Now on the side we have a micro SD card slot, a full size USB 3 port and a USB 2 port. Now if we keep going, on this side we have a power socket, HDMI out, a 100 megabyte LAN port and your AV port. So there's nothing on this side at all and that brings us back to the front of the unit. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like and we have plenty of ventilation. Now to give you guys an idea of the size, I will bring in the Xiaomi box and here is how they fare side by side. They look more or less the same size and in thickness the KM9 is slightly thicker. So now I'm going to get the KM9 all hooked up to my TV and capture card and we are going to find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. First of all I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 32 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. So here is the home screen for this TV box and it does look and feel like Android TV OS version 8 Oreo. But unfortunately this is definitely not the official version of Android TV OS. So straight away no support for Chromecast or Netflix. Now if we go to settings and have a look at system storage info, you will see that this box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which there are 25 gigs free to use. And if we go and have a quick look in about, you will see that we are running Android version 8.1 Oreo. Now the KM9 comes with the side load launcher, which is again a dead giveaway that this is not official Android TV OS. And when you open the side load launcher, you will see a bunch of apps that come pre-installed on this box as standard. Now I did try to download Netflix, however it was not available on the Google Play Store. So somehow they managed to completely remove Netflix and Chromecast from the system and also the ability to download it. So my only option to get Netflix was side loading and I did try both versions of Netflix, the TV version and the regular app version and I can confirm that both versions of Netflix do not work on this TV box. Now you have no Miracast or Chromecast but instead you have AirPin Pro which basically lets you mirror your iPhone or iOS screen. This works well on the latest iOS 12 with no lag whatsoever. So I'm happy to say that you do have screen mirroring for iOS devices. So now we're going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and we are going to be doing this from the TV Center app which is basically just like Kodi Media Player. So throughout this test I discovered that 4K 60 frames per second with H.265 encoding struggled to play smoothly and I am using a USB 3 stick connected to the USB 3 port of this TV box. However 4K at 30 frames per second played ultra smooth and very nice. So that was 4K video, moving on now to the YouTube test and I think we're going to do a quick voice search with the voice remote. Search for 4K video on YouTube. So voice search has worked fine and has given us our 4K results for YouTube and YouTube supports a maximum resolution of 4K. So again whilst playing 4K video on YouTube at 60 frames per second you can see and hear a lot of choppiness. So the video is certainly not playing back smooth. Colossus. On a rent. Spoon. Why the mask? It's ugly. Why the jokes? Insecure. Why Princess Bra? So that was YouTube streaming and of course it wasn't great. So let's move on now to the gaming performance test.
Now onto the tests, DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. This box does not come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 46 megabits per second and upload speeds of nine megabits per second. And the top broadband speed we currently achieve is 50 megabits per second. And here are the results for Geekbench. And in the Antitude benchmark test, we achieved a total score of 42,000. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018. Now these boxes are currently ranked by Antutu scores. However, I have now added a new column called rating out of 10. And each box now gets a rating, which means just because a box has ranked high in performance, it does not mean that it is a good TV box. So hopefully you guys like the new rating score and it makes things a bit easier in making your choice. Now the new Mikul KM9 has taken position 11 on this chart but unfortunately I had to give it a ranking of 2 out of 10 and the full explanation is coming right up. Meanwhile you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys that was the new Mikul KM9. Now here are my thoughts on this box. Now I'm suspecting that I may have received a faulty TV box which is why I experienced so much trouble including stuttering at even 480p on YouTube. Now, if you have this box, let me know if you're experiencing any of the issues that I have shown. Meanwhile, I can only judge what I have. And after testing this box, I strongly recommend you not to buy it. Blunt, simple, no bottom line needed. Now, I still have a stack of brand new latest Android TV boxes to go through. And they are all going to get tested thoroughly with my honest, blunt opinion. Now, I want to see improvements in Android TV boxes and if the manufacturer of this box thinks my review is unfair and the box could be faulty, then feel free to send me another box and I will happily do the review again and share my thoughts with you guys. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description in case you want to check this box out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.